hello hi my name is Shannon welcome to my YouTube channel just a small introduction for you my name is Sharon I am from Montana I am a mom of a five-month-old baby boy his name is Chase I have a dog and two cats I am a extreme coffee lover and this channel is going to be primarily murder mysteries true crime the missing people all the fun stuff because it's my addiction I promise you I have seen every single episode of forensic files probably 10 times love it so to start if I look down here that's where my notes are so don't mind that I've got my half cut tea from McDonald's for some reason this drink is my addiction now I don't know when I started loving it good good stuff so my first video is going to be a a missing person that hits really close to home the young lady is actually from my state this case brought a lot of attention it was very all over the place very discouraging you know it was just not a, not a good time and of course this was the beginning of 2020 which is possibly the worst year of all of our lives. I think we can agree on that. So this case is gonna be about 16 year old Selena Not Afraid. Selena was a member of the Crow and the Nakoda Native American tribes and she was from Hardin, Montana, which is near Billings, Montana, because Billings is a lot more known than Hardin is. Selena was described as very loving, very sweet. Her smile was contagious. She loved playing basketball and she loved riding horses. She also has lots of siblings and lots of family members. She was also said to have a lot of friends. Selena's backstory is not quite as glamorous as her personality. She's very loving. She's very fun, very smiley, very happy. Her backstory, complete opposite end of the spectrum, unfortunately. So in 2014, Selena's twin Zoe, at 11 years old, killed herself. That hit Selena very hard. That was her best friend, that was her sister. They were only 11 years old at the time. And at the time, that was the youngest age that anybody had committed suicide in the state of Montana. Then, in 2017, Selena's brother, Preston Bell, was 24 years old when he was killed by police after a high-speed chase in Billings. At the time, Bell was driving a vehicle that had been reported stolen and attempted to flee when he was pulled over. Five officers, fired 74 rounds into the vehicle and Preston was hit 17 times. The coroner's jury later determined that his death was justifiable. That also hit their family very hard. The second of their kids to die and it was all justified and the family didn't believe that it was. Then one year later in 2019, Selena Not Afraid's sister, 22 year old Tristan Gray, was killed by a hit and run vehicle in Billings. Police identified the driver but refused to release his name publicly and did not charge him in the murder of her sister. Three siblings to die within the years leading up to Selena's disappearance. Selena Not Afraid went missing on January 1st, 2020. Selena and these five others were on their way back from a New Year's party and they were headed to Hardin, pulled over at the rest area on Interstate 90 in between Billings and Hardin, Montana, where their vehicle broke down. Selena and one female got out of the vehicle. The driver got the vehicle running again and left the two girls at the rest area. This is where it gets a little bit confusing and also very discouraging. And this is where things kind of fall apart in the case. The driver then called a relative to pick the two girls up. By the time the relative arrived, Selena was gone and the other girl was there. The other girl, who I, I could not find her name, I think I know what her name was, but I'm not gonna say it just in case I'm wrong. Uh, the other girl told police that a man in a green vehicle attempted to pick up the girls, so they both ran. She came back, Selena was nowhere to be found. A while after Selena's disappearance, a video circled Facebook of one man in his 20s in the vehicle that she was in physically beating Selena 
and there was blood on her pants and another woman's pants. So that video kind of said there's something fishy about this. Selena was said to be undressed for the weather because in Montana winters are very cold and very brutal and they said that she was not quite dressed for the weather in Montana. They say the day she went missing it was about 30 degrees just below freezing but not brutally cold right? Selena's blood aunt Cheryl said that it's not like Selena. She would never not go home. So this caused a lot of panic between the family, the community, her friends, you know, all of them. They've already lost three kids. Their fourth one is missing at this point. For several days after her disappearance, dozens of people came together to search for her. One week following her disappearance, the FBI issued a BOLO or a be on the lookout for Selena. Eventually, the search party exceeded 50 people. This included search and rescue, ATV, horses, dogs, plus members of the community. There was even a high quality drone used that could pick up heat from things such as small as mice and rabbits, but Selena was nowhere to be found. While the search was going on, there were reports that the girl left with Selena at the rest area, then moved to North Dakota and deleted all of her social media and was not heard from since. For 20 days, the search continued. On January 20th, 2020, Selena's body was found less than a mile from the rest area she went missing at. There was no debris covering Selena's body, no markings of physical abuse, no marks that she was murdered or anything was suspicious, and no predator marks, no birds, no bugs, no wolves, no animals had gotten to her at that point. Some say justifiable because her body was frozen so an animal wouldn't have been able to smell her. Others say at 30 degrees, her body was not frozen and any animal would have been able to smell her and would have attacked her body. But there was no animal markings, no anything. Later on, an autopsy was done and the cause of death was considered hypothermia. The case was considered an accidental death and nobody was charged in connection with Selena's death or disappearance. Many people did not find the results of her death as accurate. They say that it was false and that something had definitely happened to Selena and that everybody was coming together that we requested a second autopsy. So a second autopsy happened. Four state medical examiners, or examiners in the state of Montana autopsied her body for the second time. That as well resulted in hypothermia. At this point, everyone's devastated. Something happened to this girl. Nobody knows what it was. And now the state and law enforcement are not taking it into far enough hands that they're just considering the hypothermia, saying it was an accident and going on about their day. Well, this triggers the NMIW, which is Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women, because with the three deaths of her siblings, they believe all of those were put out against them. They were native and they were targeted. And then she dies and they say it's hypothermia, but they had searched that area for a long time, for 20 days. How would they not find her body less than a mile from the rest area that they claim they have searched for 20 days? They even claim they used a high powered drone to look. Dogs that can smell a human scent for miles and they couldn't find her. And then 20 days later, she's found. Here next to me is a picture of the location she was found in. So this is in Montana. This is when she passed away. So there's no snow on the ground. It is a little bit cold, but no snow on the ground. As you can see, there's a few little hills, but no, you know, like big mountains, no big sagebrush, no, nothing that would stop them from seeing her body if they were in that area. So then this picture, it's kind of hard to see, but in the very bottom, you see that there's some blue squares that kind of curve. Well, a man posted on his Facebook, that is the route that him and his son took on a four-wheeler searching for Selena when two men with a shotgun came upon them and told them they had to leave. This was the route they took, this is as far as they got. These other pictures are the route that they found when they found Selena. So how did these people not find Selena, but these people did? And that's the big question is people say they searched and searched and searched and there's no way that they missed her if she was in that area. So now a lot of people think that she was placed at that spot. 
There's no answers. Nobody knows what actually happened to Selena. Did she run off and not be able to bear the weather and die of hypothermia? Did she get killed and put in that spot? Did she, you know, nobody knows. And that's where it's really hard because the state has said she died of hypothermia and they ended the case. And there hasn't really been anything looked into since then. So technically the case is solved. Missing persons, body was found, died of hypothermia. Most of the Montana population, most of the surrounding areas think that this young lady was not killed by hypothermia. Something definitely happened to her and nobody is taking the time to actually dig into this case because they're Native American. And as much as I hate to say it, they're very racist against Native Americans around here. This is their home and white people took it over and that is what it is. But these people were treated very unfairly. This case was dropped just like a fly on the wall, you know? So it's a very up and down case. There's a lot of questions behind it. There is also a lot of answers behind it. Nobody knows. Nobody saw the green car that claimed to have tried to pick up those girls. Nobody saw Selena run into the field other than the girl she was left with. The other four people in the vehicle never came back for her. By the time the driver's relative got there to pick them up, Selena was nowhere to be found. They looked, they called for her name that night and nowhere to be found. If Selena was in that spot, less than a mile away from where she went missing, you'd think that she maybe would have heard them calling for her or she would have seen them or why did she run into that field in the first place? Why didn't her friend go after her when she ran into that field? So there were a lot of questions regarding this case that not, not a single one of them have been answered. That's the Selena Not Afraid case. Very confusing and very frustrating. I hope you like it. And stay tuned for more mystery cases. Some will be solved, some will be unsolved, some will be just missing, some will be murdered, you know, some will be from around here, some will be from across the ocean, you know? I'm gonna get into lots of them, so stay tuned for more. Comment any cases that you want me to cover. I'll research them and film them. And of course, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell if you like this kind of stuff and wanna be notified for more videos. Also, go follow me on Instagram. It's Sharon K. You'll love it. I post my son on there who doesn't love cute baby pictures. I also post all my updates on videos that are coming out. I post updates on any new cases that I see come up that aren't really covered all that often. Also, go follow me on TikTok. It's extremely cringy, but I feel like you'll get a kick out of it because I'm just awkward and people like awkward for some reason so yeah stay tuned for another video i think i'm gonna be filming another video tomorrow because tomorrow is my next day off work and i want to get enough videos so i can post another one next week not be behind i plan to post one to two times a week we'll see how my work schedule plays out with that if i'm too busy i'll post once if i'm not too busy i'll post twice Keep in mind, I do have another business on the side. I also am a mother. I also am a caregiver at an old folks home. So I've got a busy life, but this is my passion. I love murder mystery and I love true crime. So this definitely is going to be in my schedule for the day. I am hoping to have another video posted by next Friday. If I don't, bear with me. I'm trying. I'm also just learning all this, so it's gonna be tough. But yeah, share the video with all your friends. Anybody that likes true crime, like, comment, subscribe, follow my Insta, and I'll see you later.